preventing plaque buildup, the role of vitamin K2, vitamin C, and biofilms in maintaining arterial health through a healthy diet. Welcome to the world of plaque and cardiovascular disease, where a colony of microbes can build little calcium igloos to protect themselves from harm, and biofilms can accumulate on roughened artery edges. But what causes plaque to stick to the artery walls? This can be attributed to several factors such as lesions, oxidation, inflammation, or damage from excessive sugar in the diet. The LDL, or small dense particle size, is also correlated with a high sugar and carb diet, making it a common culprit in plaque buildup. Hey there, welcome back to MindState. We're here to help you tap into your full potential and become the best version of yourself. In this video, we will discuss the prevention, slowing down, and reversal of plaque buildup. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Plaque formation. Plaque is a substance that develops in the inner lining of arteries due to damage to the artery wall. This damage can be caused by a number of factors, including high blood pressure, smoking, high levels of LDL, low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, and diabetes. The components of plaque include calcium, protein, and cholesterol. When the inner lining of the artery is damaged, cholesterol enters the artery in the form of a band-aid with cement. This mixture includes fibrous tissue protein and calcium, which then mix with the cholesterol. Over time, the buildup of plaque can narrow the artery and reduce blood flow, leading to serious health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. Several factors can contribute to the formation of plaque. Excessive sugar in the diet can lead to high blood sugar levels, which can damage the artery wall. Omega-6 fatty acids, found in many processed foods and vegetable oils, can also contribute to plaque buildup. Junk food and alcohol consumption can also contribute to plaque formation by raising cholesterol levels and increasing the risk of high blood pressure. Preventing plaque buildup. Vitamin K2 is a fat-soluble vitamin that plays a critical role in regulating calcium metabolism in the body. It helps to direct calcium to the bones and teeth, where it is needed, and away from the soft tissues, such as the arteries and joints, where it can cause damage and contribute to the formation of plaque. Foods that are rich in vitamin K2 include fermented dairy products such as cheese, kefir, and yogurt, as well as organ meats like liver and kidney. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps to protect the body against damage from free radicals. It is also essential for the production of collagen, a protein that forms the structure of blood vessels and other tissues. Foods that are high in vitamin C include citrus fruits, berries, kiwi fruit, papaya, bell peppers, and broccoli. Vitamin E is another antioxidant that helps to protect the body against oxidative stress. It is also essential for maintaining healthy skin and eyes. Foods that are high in vitamin E include nuts and seeds such as almonds, sunflower seeds and hazelnuts, as well as avocado and leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale. In addition to these vitamins, a diet that is low in sugar, omega-6 fatty acids, junk food and alcohol can also help to prevent plaque buildup. Some examples of foods that can be included in a heart-healthy diet include fatty fish like salmon, sardines and mackerel as well as whole grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. Biofilms and plaque. Biofilms are complex communities of microorganisms that stick to surfaces and create a protective environment for themselves. They are made up of different types of bacteria, fungi, and other microbes, and they can be found in a variety of settings, including on teeth and in the mouth. In plaque formation, biofilms play a crucial role by providing a surface for bacteria to attach to and grow on. Studies have shown that certain bacteria that are normally found in the mouth can end up in plaque buildup in the arteries. This is concerning because some of these bacteria are pathogenic and can contribute to the development of atherosclerosis, a condition where plaque builds up inside the arteries and can lead to heart disease and stroke. Bacterial translocation is the process by which bacteria move from one part of the body to another. In the case of periodontal bacteria, they can easily move through the wall of the gums and into the bloodstream. This can occur due to bleeding gums, which can create small holes in the gum tissue that allow bacteria to move through and enter the bloodstream. To prevent bacterial translocation and the buildup of plaque in the arteries, 
It's important to maintain good oral hygiene practices, such as brushing and flossing regularly, visiting the dentist for cleanings and checkups, and avoiding habits like smoking that can damage the gums and increase the risk of bleeding. Eating a healthy diet that is low in sugar and high in nutrients like vitamin C and E can also help prevent bacteria from leaking from the gums into the bloodstream and reduce the risk of plaque buildup in the arteries. In conclusion, plaque buildup can lead to cardiovascular disease, which is why prevention is crucial. Foods high in vitamins K2, C, and E can be helpful in preventing plaque buildup, as well as maintaining a healthy diet and lifestyle. Avoiding excessive sugar, omega-6 fatty acids, junk food, and alcohol can also reduce the risk of plaque buildup. Regular dental checkups and maintaining healthy oral hygiene can also prevent bacterial translocation and reduce the risk of periodontal bacteria ending up in plaque buildup in the arteries. Thanks for watching, MindState fam. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed our content, please show us some love by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. We promise to keep bringing you insightful takes on anything and everything that matters. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.